Hey guys, it's Jay Long. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here with Ziggy, at least for a portion of this video, to share with you my update for the Happy Hour Project Pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by Deb over at Deb B, as well as Danny over at Danny's Makeup. Their information will be linked down below as usual. I'm a little bit late with this project. I actually had some dental stuff going on yesterday and I'm still a little sore. <sighs> I'm so, I get so stressed, I clench and I cracked a tooth on the side. I don't know. I may have to get some Botox here, but the last, okay, this is total tangent. The last time I've, I've done Botox here in my mandible before, Ziggy, where are you going? Come on. I'm telling the story. Come hang out. But... It changed my face to where I, when I smiled, like this part wouldn't go up. It was just this. So I looked like a chipmunk. I didn't like it. My face looked weird to me. Ziggy. Oh, anyway. So this is a project that started in November last year. Moving on. <laughs> started in November last year. Goes through November 12th this year. That is National Happy Hour Day. And I decided to roll in all the prompts at the beginning of the project. So I was working on, what, 30 prompts total? And I have been. I'm not working on all of them right now. But I do have some that I can share updates with. I forgot to mark my uses. Hold on a second, please. <laughs> I do have one item that can roll out this month. That is for the prompt Mojito, something with a mint flavor. And I did finish the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Mint Choco. This was eight grams of product, so it took a while to get through. This scent is fine. I mean, it's not super strong, honestly, when you're putting it on. I don't smell chocolate. This to me was more minty than chocolatey. And it's I'm noticing that more as a reflection back on this product. Like I don't remember thinking, oh my God, that's too much chocolate. I didn't hate it, but it's not my favorite scent from Laneige so, of their lip sleeping mask. So I wouldn't repurchase that scent, but I would still use it if it came like in a pack. That's the only item that I finished this month. So I still have, I previously finished nine prompts. So I'm now 10 prompts down. I have 20 prompts left. So the first one I'm going to share with you is Happy Hour, an item you got on sale. And I rolled in the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation. This is in the shade number 34 Beige Medium. So this one I've had some use on, but not enough to make a new line. I've just used it here and there as needed for mixing. I find that this is probably going to be a foundation I use more so in the summer because it is a bit dark for me right now, even though I did go to the beach I didn't really get super dark. <laughs> so I'm hoping I get more use on that in the summer. And and I, I mean, I do use it. I just, you're just not able to see a lot of progress on it. Next prompt is Margarita, an item from a Latinx brand. I rolled in this Terra Moons eyeshadow in Moon Tide. This is stunning. I rolled this in for 20 uses. I had six last month. I'm up to eight. Oh. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. Next prompt is old fashioned, an item, an older item in your collection. So I rolled in the Mally Shadow Stick Extra in the shade Over the Taupe. And this is an eyeshadow stick that I'm using as like a first base before I do lid shades. So that is how much is left in here. I did roll this one into finish. I have pretty consistent progress on this one. There's the shade there. It's not my favorite color. The way that I use this, and I've shown this on get, my Get Ready With Me's, <laughs> is I'll, I'll do this and then I'll, I'll tap it on my lid and then put a glitter primer on top of it. So I'm hoping I'll have this done like three months. If I continue to use it consistently, that would be amazing. Next prompt is champagne, a product you save for a special occasion. That's typically reds. I don't know why, but it is. I rolled in the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Gaspacho. And I do have progress on this. There's a, actually a decent amount of progress. I rolled this one in to finish, I think. Yeah, but and I have good progress, so that's great. It's a really beautiful red, really, really nice. This is a great summer or fall red, in my opinion. So making progress, which is great. 
Next prompt is well liquor, something from the drugstore or an inexpensive item. I decided to go with this chapstick total hydration lip balm in vanilla cream. And I do have really good progress on this one as well. I rolled this into finish and that is all that's left. I think it's going to take me two to three more months to finish this because I do have other, this one sits by my sink in the bathroom and I kind of alternate between a couple of things in the morning. Like usually if I'm sitting, if I'm in my bathroom, I'll use this, but I rolled in a, EO, an EOS lip balm for usage goal. I'm actually almost, I've almost met that goal. So that will be rolled out and I'll focus 100% on this, but I'm still thinking it will take two or three months to finish. Next prompt is Tipsy, a product you have a difficult time pronouncing. As my dad would say, Titsy. He didn't know that it was Tipsy. <laughs> and now my entire family has adopted Titsy. Okay, so the product that I rolled in is the Gucci, this is their matte lipstick or satin the matte lipstick in so, and the reason why I said this is difficult to pronounce because rouge a lèvre matte lèvre lèvre whatever difficult time pronouncing it. matte lipstick in the shade Virginia Fleur de Lis here is the shade now this I've mentioned before came broken from Sephora and they sent me a replacement but I didn't have to send this one back so I tried to save it and I melted it down and blah 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 so that's how much is left I'm actually making good progress on this I rolled it in for 20 uses and last month I had eight I'm up to 17 so three uses to go before I can roll this one out this is a really beautiful color a really beautiful color I quite like it Next prompt is craft beer, an item from an indie brand. I rolled in a Cleona eyeshadow. This is in the shade etched. So I th I'm having, I think I'm struggling with identifying this one and another one that I have in my magnetic palette. I think I mixed the two up because they're both Cleona and they're both like purpley shades. <laughs> so I may have marked the wrong one a couple of times but you know what whatever <laughs> this is the shade etched it's so gorgeous and i have marked that i've used it four times i want to use it 20 so 16 to go next prompt is shot a sample size or single use item i forgot to grab the other two eye masks i did finish one so i rolled in three like single use eye masks like this this is from Karuna. It's the Renewal Plus Eye Mask. This is not my favorite. It's kind of like a papery thin formula. I don't really like that. I prefer the Hydrogel. So this one I used when I was traveling to Cabo. And yeah, I wouldn't purchase these, but I still have two of those individual eye patches left. Next prompt is designated driver, a water themed item. So I rolled in the Not Your Mother's Blue Sea Kale and Pure Coconut Water Weightless Hydration Shampoo. Come on, Ziggy. I see you in the corner. Hi. Here's the shampoo. And I rolled this one into finish. I am about there now. So let me mark this so you can see my progress. What's up, buddy? You come back? Oh, you grabbed a snack. Were you hungry? Were you hungry? Yeah. There is my progress. Wait, on this side. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm using this here and there. I'm not using it like every day or anything. I probably use it once a week. And I feel pretty good about finishing this. I was a little worried there for a little while, but I'm feeling pretty good about how it's looking now. I know, right? Are you going to take a nap? I think I and everyone else thinks you should take a nap. How about a scooch over? Oh, I'm sorry, Ziggy. Next prompt is mule. Served in a copper cup, an item with metallic packaging. So I went with this YSL Rouge Voluped Shine in the shade number 117, which is Lulu. Is that right? Yeah, well, I'm sorry, 117. 124, Lulu. Yeah. And I just recently started using this while traveling. There is the shade and there's the color, really pretty. I have pretty good progress on this. I'm about halfway to my goal of using a third of what's in here. And just so you can see that is how much is left. And 
that is about how much I've used so far. So this is a harder formula, but I love it. So hopefully I'll get good progress on it over the summer. Next prompt is wine, a red or white product. I rolled in an eyeshadow from MAC. The shade is Blanc type. I finally, finally repressed this. I think I just did it this past week or past weekend. I mean, it literally has been maybe four or five days since I repressed it. So that is how much is left. I'm making really good progress on this right now. Much easier to pick up. So I'm thinking by the next update, this will be finished. That will be amazing. Next prompt is cocktail shaker, something you have to shake before use. I rolled in the Dr. Circle Kombucha Tea Essence. I, vegan kombucha tea essence. I love this stuff. That is my progress. I thought that I would have had more progress in the last month, but oh, you know what? I was using this morning and night, and then I switched to just using it at night because I have another essence that I'm using in the morning. So that's why my progress has kind of slowed down, but I will not have a problem finishing this over the next three or four months or so. I love this stuff so much. Next prompt is garnish, an item you use as a topper. <laughs> I'm struggling saying that. So I rolled in the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. I really do love this. In fact, let me just put some on right now. I like to put this on before I film because I love the glow it gives. So there is my progress over the last month. I've been a little bit more cognizant about using this. And I really do love this product. So I'm finally feeling like I'm getting to the end of this. So maybe over the next couple of months, I can finish it. I just got to remember to spray it on. I love this product. Next prompt is beer goggles. Something you thought was pretty until you got it at home or used it. <laughs> so I rolled in a liquid lipstick. This is the Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipstick in lovesick and here is the shade there is some windowing here which is very exciting i rolled this in for 20 uses i have used it once <laughs> 19 to go there's the shade there really pretty and i'm just so excited there's some windowing all the way up there there's windowing woohoo and the last prompt that i can share with you i have progress on is trivia night an item that relates to pop culture so i rolled in this palette by pat mcgrath it's the bridgerton bell of the ball palette and i rolled in each of these shades to use three times i've only used this palette once and i only used one shade in here but you know it counts so i've used this shade here that one is forbidden forbidden amour which is forbidden love this is a gorgeous color i love this i was using it in combination with a purple that i was working on so there's the shade there I just need to get cracking on this. I kind of keep forgetting that it's in this project. I need to like set it out on my, like right in front. There's this beautiful topper shade. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful in the summer, spring and summer. Anyway, so one use on this so far. So I still have a lot, a lot, long way to go, but hopefully I'll start to roll it into looks here and there. Anyway, Maybe I should do a look with this on a get ready with me. Maybe. Anyway, that is everything that I have to share with you today. I do have, okay, in terms of what things that I can potentially finish, I think I'll finish my uses on the Gucci lipstick. And I think I'll have Blanc type finished. And that's probably it for the next update. That's what I'm thinking. We will see. Anyway, that is going to be everything for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> hey, buddy. What you doing, Zig? Come this way. That was kind of easy. He just plopped right over. We got Ziggy in. I'm not really centered, but that's okay. We got to make sure he's in camera. He's on camera. Can I get a kiss?
Hey. Hi. I finally got it. I got my kiss. Thank you. Thank you. He is so picky. Does anybody else's cat do this? Like, he wants me to pet him all day. But when I go to kiss him, he's like, no. Okay, bye.